guys are really <laughs> I know <laughs> we're gonna be dating pigeons so we need to look our best <laughs> yeah yeah let's go with that <laughs> <laughs> Are we gonna stop playing this goddamn game or what? Ah, oh, my pigeon noise. Your pigeon noise is fine. Oh, it made a noise. From Pigeonation Institute. Welcome to Soon Pigeonation. Please enter your name. What are we gonna be called? That's not gonna be our first name. Makiza, <laughs> like, why not? Yeah, Makiza, Makiza McGee. Makiza McGee. Why is this music so loud? It's the music. I realize that this is going to be loud for everybody. There we go. Hopefully our voices cover up the sound of the music and we're not like drowned by the music. Because otherwise we fuck up, but we've made a bad video. <laughs> <laughs> Should be fine. The troubles of being a YouTuber. It's McGizzera get McGee, okay? I can't even say it, so it's gonna be good. Yes. Catapult Boyfriend includes a powerful visualization module allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Display human portraits? What the hell are we playing? Catapult <laughs> <laughs> Boyfriend! Configuration saved! St. Pigeonations, a school blessed for extensive curricula and facilities. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say, the school is known for one thing in particular. The school is Japan, no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Birds who want to study the arts, sciences, even sports all come to St. Pigeonations. The teaching staff and student body are made up of a diverse blend of birds of different backgrounds and species. I'm often asked why I chose to come here, despite not being a bird. It's a long story. Do you, do you, do you want to pick the voice for this person? Pick a voice and stick to it. I don't, really, I don't know, I don't have a voice. Well, the, the whole point of this is funny voices. I can't really do funny voices, I'll try. I don't know, what should I do? Try and give me something to do. A funny voice. Just a voice that's not your own. Oh no, I can't. Why am I playing this game with you? Just a silly voice. You've done plenty of them. I know, but my mind's gone blank now. <laughs> not every day I see you rushing along like this. You can be. What you the can hell? be. How do you say that? Ryota. Ryota. Yeah, you can you can be Magizza. I'll be Magizza. Ryota. Usually you'd have been ready for an hour by now, Magizza. Overslept. And that's what he looks like, apparently. Whoa! I've never this... seen such a sexy-looking pigeon before. <laughs> this rock dove is named Kawara Ryota. We've been friends since he was barely hatched. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. You. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. Living as a hunter gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Rio. Riota? Yeah, Riota. Riota. <laughs> sounds like my doorbell. Oh, the bell already. Come on, we need to hurry to class. Jeepers! <laughs> Jeepers! No good being late on the first day! Wowza! <laughs> cool, blimey! And so Ryota pulled me along into the school. 
Today's the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Meant to make up for all that lost fun. You stand for the greatest cavalry of the pigeon. By the pigeon. For the pigeon. First term. <sighs> I think we're in two frame. Ryosha and I are in the same class again. Old faces, new frames. Frames? <laughs> Franges. I read fr strange and faces at the same time. Old faces, new faces, a strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. I hope we all get along. Here's to the formation of many happy memories. Oh, the teacher's here. What is she? <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Yes. <laughs> Come on, you got to give him a good voice. Come on, take, I can't do take, take, the, take the piss out of the best lecturer you know. I wish I could do a Kermit voice now. That would be quite funny. Just put on a funny accent or something. Just do it. I can't do, I don't do accents. I can't do voices. What am I doing? I thought, I thought this was going to be fun. <laughs> You can do voices better than I can do voices. I just can't do voices. Okay, you can just be Magizzo. <laughs> and I will just have to be everybody else. Good morning, everybody. And I'm Nanaki Kuzwaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. I specialize in maths and physics and also some other things. What was his voice? <laughs> Sorry, no, that wasn't it. <laughs> I can't even remember. Jesus, we're so good at this. <laughs> what did it sound like? I can't even remember. I remember, sort of high pitched and girly. Sure, wake up. It's homeroom. That'll do. He sleeps with his eyes open. I know someone can do that. I don't know, like a teacher. This quail is Nanaki Kazuaki. He's a famously soporific math professor. I heard the rumours, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently, he's a well-known uh, well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show, great minds come in all forms. Ah, I'm sorry. Isn't it a little warm in here? Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please introduce yourself, Shirugane. You can these names better than I could. Take it he's French then. What is the point? I have no wish to speak with communists. Don't do not think I'm here because I wish to be. <laughs> oh well, I guess that's that. Hey, 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 that's no good. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. But we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and we'll all turn into Kulax and dis. I don't know what that means either, don't worry. Dis dissenters! <laughs> Dementors! <laughs> well, when you put it like that, could you at least say your name, Shirugane? Huh? Shirugane le bel sakuya. That sounded really not French. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It seems that this fan tale is Shirugane Sakuya. His feathers would make anybody proud. I love the puns. He's pretty stuck up, but then transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. Sakia sits down, glaring daggers at Ryota and me. I think this little bird is telling me there's some there's going to be trouble down the line. That went bloody quick. Yeah, I know, right? Lunch already? Today is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me, I've had all these books from the library all summer. I'll return them now. Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any birdie here. Huh? Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Or not. A morning dove stands in a dark corner, staring in my direction. Morning do doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Um, uh, did you want something from me? Not really. I'm 
pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's someone else here. Are you sure? Yes, I don't want anything with you. It's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk, as if to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry. They were a little too... They were a little too dense and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? Eh. He silently returns his gaze to his books. Maybe he's in a bad mood. <laughs> oh, it's, it's really... It's Jap <laughs> <laughs> Japanese. <laughs> yes, so they ran the wrong way, yes. I'm McGee McGizza, a sophomore. What about you? <laughs> you Nageki. Fujishiro. Nageki. Freshman. The difference between freshmen and sophomores and things. With freshmen, it's like freshers. Right. Sophomores above that, then it's junior, then senior. Okay. Fujishiro and Nageki, huh? Morning doves are pretty rare in Japan. Where in Japan? <laughs> rare in Japan. Maybe it's just his voice, but he seems kind of sad. Is he looking at the chat? Have you not watched it before? Yeah, I have. Okay. <laughs> Leave me alone. He's reading his book again. Okay. Sorry to bother you. I keep meeting depressing people today. Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait. Isn't that... Bam, bam, bam. You should have been instructed not to approach me in school. What should I do for his voice? Come on, Sukuya! What kind of thing is that to say to your own brother? After all these years! Completely different. Very foreign. My brother? You must be joking! You've never once been a brother to me! Please, don't try to talk to me again! I've gonna, I have no time for half-breeds. I'll be going now. Hey, wait just up! Lots of those footsteps. <laughs> I guess if I guess even if we're in the same school now, what's done is done. I hadn't mean to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. The ever popular trendsetter and ladies' man Sakazaki Yuya is Sakuya's brother. I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey, uh. you heard that whole thing, right? Are you a friend of Sakuya's? I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to listen in on you. Haha, yeah. <laughs> 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 no sweat. I'll try to stay sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies. But then, but that there wasn't too cool. He doesn't look very Texan. <laughs> <laughs> this fantail pigeon is Sakazaki Yuya, an upperclassman. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous or infamous throughout the school. Everybody knows him. You're a Magizza, right? <laughs> How did you know? I know everybody here. Besides, you're the only human. <laughs> a single poppy in a field of rye. Did you say you were a friend of Saki's? Had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that's all. I've never thought that stuck up ass aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Aristocrat wannabe? He is an aristocrat actually. The genuine article. In the flesh. He is. He's a bit of a pain, so good luck, one of me. Adieu. <laughs> He obviously wants to be French, but he's Texan. <laughs> a Texan French. Yes. Uh, he really You're a Texan. <laughs> he really is a noble bird. I've never heard anything like that about you, you though. Perhaps a twisty business. Uh, yeah, probably. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. That's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. Huh? Sir? Where's... My 
my friend. <laughs> <laughs> he said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe you should go and see if he's still there. No, not bird flu. <laughs> now that I think about it, Ryota always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. He's got bird flu. I'm gonna get bird flu. I'm a human. Excuse me. Nobody's here. There's no one sleeping behind the curtains and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. There's nobody here. Friend? <laughs> Ryota. <laughs> no reply. The infirmary's empty. Weird. Did he go home already? Why would I say that out loud? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I feel a little nervous poking around in the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been here much before. Unlike Ryota, I'm perfectly healthy. Whoa. We've got all kinds of drugs in here. Ethylpartrifi Lucio Benzene. What do these even do? Care, care to find out? Care to find out? That was kind of creepy. That was the point. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that was basically your reaction in the game as well. <laughs> Doctor! I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want. Hmm. No, thank you. That reminded me very much like Ursula from The Little Mermaid. <laughs> this partridge is Irumino Shu, the school's doctor. He's rather creepy in person and has a bad reputation among the student body. Everybody knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with Aspergillus, psittacosis, or even worse things, and I've never heard him come in the door. Ninja Doctor? You don't look like you have a good reason to be in here, did you? Need something? <laughs> He's already gone. Oh. Why didn't he come find me before going home? <laughs> Sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. Bye. <laughs> ah, finally out of that den of evil. Ryota's already gone home? What do I do now? Oh. I never got around to joining a club last year. Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. I think there are clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, bird watching. Bird watching for birds. <laughs> Wasn't there another one? Anyway, I'll start with the track team. I ran in middle school, and it's always funny watching the birds hop around. I think their club room is on the ground floor, off to the side. A white dove is having a tantrum outside. Cuckoo! This is no pudding for a man! Wakosan rejects it. It is a lie of vicious falsification. He's dancing around on a squished pudding. Hey, it's not very nice to the pudding. <laughs> That's his human form. <laughs> this is Okosan. He doesn't really look it, but he's supposedly a fantail pigeon. I, I think. Either way, he's hyper. Kosan has suffered a deception most vile, a wretched betrayal. Be betrayal? Koo! Okosan instructed the pudding would be provided for new members. Koo! But this is no pudding! Ousted, scorned, betrayed, dragged into the street and shot by one of his... by those she trusted most. It's squished and filthy. But the thing under his feet looks like normal store-bought pudding. What's wrong with it? Cool, cool, spare the jests, young lady. Okasan used wing attack, it's super effective. That's a Pokemon reference. Cool, they'll rule the day they cross to Okasan. He'll have, he'll have them flayed, hanged, shot at dawn, he will. Cool, Okasan must now train to achieve true pudding. Farewell. 
<laughs> he's gone. He's a good runner, but what does pudding have to do with the track team? It obviously raise them up. And so ended the first day of my second semester at St. Pigeonations. <laughs>